Welcome to the Sugar Connect Managing Emails in the Office 365 video. In this video, we'll outline how to use Sugar Connect to easily archive emails, set a delay to write emails now but send later, use your Sugar email templates, and view tracked emails and statistics. We'll start with how to archive and schedule emails. Anytime an email is sent to or received from an email address that's associated with the Sugar contact, Sugar Connect can archive the message to that contact in its parent account. Emails will be archived to any Sugar contacts and accounts that match the email addresses and the messages to, from, CC, and BCC fields. There's a few ways you can archive emails in Outlook. You can do a quick archive to Sugar. This will instantly archive the email and its attachments to Sugar and relate the email to the Sugar record with the matching email address. You can also archive with options. This will allow you to select which attachments you'd like to save as well as which records you'd like to relate the archived email to in Sugar. This is also the option you'll select when you'd like to schedule to send at a later date and time. Lastly, we have the Copy to CRM folder. This allows you to quick save one or more messages on the next Sugar sync. Let's take a look at the quick archive to Sugar options for existing messages in your inbox first. When viewing the message, you're going to click on the More Actions menu, hover over Sugar Connect, and select Quick Archive to Sugar. You'll note the message is at the top of the page and will update as the archive progresses. Selecting that option means that this email message was instantly saved to Sugar and related to any records that match the email addresses in the To, From, CC, and BCC fields. Emails archived using Quick Archive to Sugar will be flagged with the Sugar Connect slash Copy to CRM category, as it's using the Copy to CRM folder. For new messages, compose your message and make sure you add your message recipient, subject, and body first. Hover over Sugar Connect and select Quick Archive to Sugar. When the message is sent, it will be related to any records with matching email addresses. I can see once I've selected to Quick Archive, there is a message at the top letting me know that the email will be saved after the message is sent. Now click Send and we'll be good to go. Next, let's move on to Archiving via the Archive with Options function. The Archive with Options functionality is going to open to a full archive window that will allow you to manually select which record you'd like to relate the email to as well as which attachments you'd like to save to Sugar. This functionality is available for both existing and new email messages sent from Outlook. Let's start with a new message that I'm looking to send. Before I click Send, I'm going to click through the Actions menu and select Archive with Options. Once selected, you'll see a pop-up on your screen, which is going to show you any related entries for the message that you're sending. So I can see that it is pulling the records for Andrea Sugarby, which is an associated contact record for Anytime Air Support Incorporated, which is the associated count record. I can individually check or uncheck the boxes for the records that I want the email message to relate to in Sugar. Now, if it didn't pull the records that I was looking for, I do have the option to go to the search tab and type in the criteria for the records that I want to archive the message to. There's also an Attachments tab, which will save email attachments as well as embedded images. The ability to enable or disable the Save Attachments by default setting can be updated through General Options and the Sugar Connect Settings menu. If available, you can select the boxes for the attachments or images that you'd like to save or uncheck the boxes if you do not wish to save them at this point. From here, I can go ahead and save these settings. And once that's done, I can see the message at the top says that the email will be saved to the selected records after it's sent. From here, I can go ahead and click Send, and the email is both going to send and archive to the records I've selected in Sugar. To archive an existing message, I'm going to select the message I want to archive within my inbox, and once viewing that message, I'm going to click through the More Actions menu and select Archive with Options. It's a very similar process, I'm going to see a pop-up on my screen with any related entries and I'm going to select the records that I'd like to archive the message to, then I'm going to click Save. Once saved, I can see that email has been saved back to Sugar. You might be wondering where these items are going once they're archived to Sugar. The email content is going to be added to the emails module and for any attachments that you may have archived, those are going to be added as new records within the Notes module in Sugar. Once you've gone through the process of archiving, you'll see that the new email and note records are going to be related to the records that you selected 
during the archiving process. If you'd like to send an email at a later date and time, you can use the Send Later option. Once you've composed the message you'd like to send later, you'll go to your Action menu, select Archive with Options, then select the records you'd like to archive to. From there, you'll click the Send Later button. This is going to allow you to select the date and time that the email will be sent. You can select one of the canned options, or you can select the custom, and that will allow you to designate a specific date and time. So let's say I'm going to send this email on the 16th at 8 a.m. I can then make any other necessary changes and click Confirm to Schedule. Once an email has been scheduled, you can view it to confirm by clicking the Scheduled Emails badge within the home screen of the sidebar. This message is going to live within the Sugar Connect Send Later folder, which can be found on the left panel of Outlook until it's sent. So those are the two areas where you're able to see anything you have in the queue to be sent at a later date and time. Now let's take a look at how you can archive using the Copy to CRM folder. When you installed Sugar Connect, a custom folder was created in your email client that you could apply to messages you'd like to archive to Sugar. This makes it easy to select and archive many emails at once to your Sugar instance. You'll find the Copy to CRM folder nested under Sugar Connect in your mailbox. To archive many emails at once, you'll go to your mailbox and drag and drop them to your Copy to CRM folder. You'll see that those items were removed to that folder, and once there, they will archive to Sugar on your next server sync. This is typically every 15 to 30 minutes, as long as a matching email is found within Sugar for those address fields on the messages. If for some reason a matching email address is not found, then the email will not be saved to Sugar. Now that we've covered scheduling and archiving emails, let's take a look at using Sugar email templates through Sugar Connect. Sugar Connect communicates with your Sugar instance to retrieve email templates that you've created in your instance. When you use the templates in Sugar Connect, any variables used are detected and filled in automatically. Templates can be used when creating a new message, replying to, or forwarding an existing message. To access your email templates, click through the More Actions menu to Sugar Connect and click Insert Template. From there, you'll see a pop-up on your screen, and within that pop-up, you'll see a list of templates that you're allowed to see based on your team membership, user type, and any assigned roles in Sugar. Here you can select an existing template, search for an email template by name, or expand the action menu to create a new email template in Sugar. This will actually bring you to the email module in your Sugar instance. Or, if you're not finding what you're looking for, you can refresh to reload the template list from your Sugar instance so they're viewable in Sugar Connect. We're going to select an existing template, and once selected, I can see a preview of that template on the right-hand side. If you need to make any changes to a template, you can click Edit Template, and that will take you directly to the template in the Emails module in Sugar, and there you can make any necessary changes and save. Just be sure that when you do make changes to your template in Sugar, that when you come back into Outlook, you hit the Refresh option to ensure that you're getting the most up-to-date version of your template. If all looks good, I can click Use Template, and the email template will be transferred into my email message. I can then make any necessary changes and send. Last but not least, let's talk about email tracking. There are two areas within the sidebar to view the emails you're tracking. Clicking through the Tracked Emails badge will open a list of individual emails in the order that they will send. Alternatively, clicking through the Tracking Activity badge will open a list of all email opens, link clicks, and replies in chronological order. You also have the ability within the Sugar Connect portal to view more detailed reporting on your tracked emails. And with that, you should now have an understanding of how to archive emails, schedule an email with the Send Later option, use your Sugar templates within Sugar Connect, and track emails for Office 365. Thanks for watching.